Hello everybody. Today's topic is the bone clavicle. We'll start with the seven special features or, or also known as the peculiarities of a clavicle. First of all, clavicle is a long bone. Long bone kaise hua? It has two ends, right? And a shaft in between. So this is one end, this is the other end and the shaft. So long bone, but it is also horizontal. So point number one would be it is a horizontal long bone. The only horizontal bone in the body. Second, it is subcutaneous. Means it is directly under the skin. It is the first bone to ossify. Alright. Horizontal bone, subcutaneous, first to ossify. It ossifies in membrane. This is the only bone which ossifies in membrane. And it is also the only bone which has two primary centers okay it has two primary centers fine and then we move ahead it has no medullary cavity so what is what are the special features or peculiarities of clavicle it is a horizontal bone it is subcutaneous it has two primary centers it ossifies in membrane it does not have a medullary cavity and it is occasionally pierced by the middle supraclavicular nerve Now, I am going to compare this clavicle with the picture given in the book. This is the right clavicle and it has two ends. One is known as the medial end, the other one the lateral end. Name of the lateral end is also known as the acromial end because it articulates with the scapula. And the medial end is also known as the sternal end. It has two, two surfaces, the superior surface and one beneath the inferior surface okay two ends two surfaces the superior surface and inferior surface now this surface is the anterior this would be the posterior medial lateral superior inferior good as you can see this convexity is, lies medially medial two-third is convex and the lateral one third is concave. Medial two third convex. Lateral one third concave. Now if I flip this bone upside down. It would show me the inferior surface. Inferiorly again. This would be my medial or the sternal end. This is the lateral or the acromial end. This would be my posterior surface. Aage ki side anterior. Piche posterior. And this is the inferior surface. Abhi jo aapko dekh rahe, what you can see now is the inferior surface. Or niche, the one touching the book, book ke jis pe hai, that word is your superior surface. And in inferior surface, we need to see certain features. One, this is the impression for the costoclavicular ligament. This one, impression for the costoclavicular ligament. This groove is the subclavian groove which gives insertion to the subclavius muscle. This ridge is known as the trapezoid ridge and this tubercle is known as the conoid tubercle. Trapezoid ridge, conoid tubercle, subclavian groove and impression for the costoclavicular ligament. These were the general features of clavicle, right side. Now I am showing you the left clavicle. So this Flattened part is the medial end, also known as the sternal end, superior surface, lateral end, acromial end. Anti medial two-third convex, lateral one-third concave, posterior surface, anterior surface, superior surface, inferior surface, medial, lateral. Flip it over, we see our inferior surface and on inferior surface, I'll just turn it around. We see this is our medial end, sternal end. So we see the trapezoid ridge, the conoid tubercle, the subclavian groove and impression for the costoclavicular ligament. I am showing the comparison of both the clavicles. This is the left clavicle, this is the right clavicle. I am showing you the inferior surfaces of both the clavicles. Dono ka, these two are the medial end or the sternal end. These two are the lateral ends. So, trapezoid ridge, trapezoid ridge, conoid tubercle, conoid tubercle, 
subclave in groove subclave in groove impression for costoclavicular ligament impression for costoclavicular ligament now this is the anterior surface of both the clavicle left clavicle right clavicle medial two third convex lateral one third concave medial two two third convex lateral one third concave superior surface superior surface thank you